Right, a chance to see the sprinters in action now with the heats of the 100 metres. Thanks, Steve. The first heat view now, an opportunity to see some of the favourites for the medals at this early stage. See the runners out there now, and there's the lineup. Oh, that was such a close-run thing. The dip for the line was crucial to the victory. So let's see the official placings after that heat. Well, that means that the first four are through to the semi-final. What a race we have in prospect. Let's see the replay of that. Lane 4 deserved a good result after that. Well, certainly I think they're going to be very pleased with that. Lane 7 going well in those important 50 metres. Oh, that was a very good winning performance from Switzerland. Well, let's hand back to Steve Ryder in the studio now. Steve. So a good start to these games, safely through to the semi-finals, but it's only going to get tougher from here on in. Our coverage comes from the Olympic Stadium today with the semi-finals of the men's 100 metres. Let's take you over there now with Stuart Story and Paul Dickinson in the commentary box. Thanks again, Steve. There's the lineup for you. Greece in the lane furthest away. Then Singapore. After them, the United States of America. After them, Great Britain. Expected to go well here today, the powerful Spaniard. Then we have Japan. Next is New Zealand. And the outside lane, Mexico. On your mark. Well, Stuart, we're going to be in for a good race here. So they settle themselves for this race. Well, that's his first false start. One more, and he's out. So they're in their blocks again, waiting for the restart. The second start is successful. What a win for Great Britain! He's really signalled his intentions with that win. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that semi-final. The athletes that have finished in the top four have gone through then to the Olympic final. Let's see the replay of that. That was a very poor start for lane four. Lane three had a great first 50 metres. That was a great all-round winning performance from Great Britain. Well, that's all for now. Let's take you back over to Steve Ryder in the studio. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, great stuff there. And they'll have strong hopes for that final now after they got through so well here today.
We're off to the Dunk Grey Velodrome now, concentrating on the Olympic Sprint Cycling event. Here's Paul Dickinson and Stuart Storey. Team one, player one, and competing as team two, Norway. Well, Team One's pace is a bit too slow. They'll need to put more effort in. There's nothing between these teams at the end of the first lap. Well, Team One's pace is a bit too slow. They'll need to put more effort in. Team two are ahead at the second split. A superb victory for Norway! Let's have a look at the replay. Hello again, welcome to one of the highlights of the Games. We're set for the men's 100 metres final, potentially one of the greatest sprint races ever. The commentator is Stuart Storey. Thanks for that, Steve. The day of reckoning has come. The Olympic 100 metres final. The atmosphere is right, and there is the lineup. Next along, France. After them, Singapore. Then, the Netherlands. And next to them, the United States and then New Zealand. Next along, Brazil. And finally, Great Britain in the outside lane. On your mark. This is going to be a very good race. Mental and physical preparation. Great Britain take the gold! And in the new world record time as well! Unbelievable! Let's have a look now at the final placings. Let's have another look at that. Lane 5 was out of the block so quickly. They certainly should be proud of such a strong start. These guys are really flying now. What a marvellous moment and an outstanding performance from Great Britain. They've got gold. Let's hand back to Steve Ryder in the studio. So we've all just been privileged to witness another bit of sporting history, the crowning of a new Olympic champion.
Let's take you over now for the medal ceremony for the men's 100 metres. These athletes have given us wonderful memories, so let's watch as they receive their medals and we celebrate the new Olympic champion. Thank you. 